Hello everyone, and today I'm going to show you how to remove vocals using Adobe Audition. Okay, let's start up. Let me just get rid of that. Okay, let's start it up right here. Okay, I already got the audio track imported, but you have to do that yourself. Blah, blah, blah. Just click import and import your audio. Okay, then you don't want this mode. You want multi-track view. Okay. Once you have that open, click on the FX button, and then go down here where the little power button is. Go down, scroll down to the stereo imagery, and click on center channel extractor. Blah. <coughs> okay, this right here, you can either acapella. Well, first of all, let's play this song. Let me put this right by the speaker. Turn the lights and Okay, now you can see that. That was the audio, and we're gonna extract the vocals right out of there. So you can have just an instrumental. Actually, if right here, a cappella. This one actually removes everything except for the vocals. Listen right now. Turn the lights and down a lot. What is it? There's a lot less music and only vocals. It won't remove it all the way though. See now there's only vocals, very little, very little, regular stuff, no instruments, just uh, the vocals. When you have amplify vocals, boost the bass, full reset or not. So karaoke, that's if you want karaoke track, listen now, I'll show you what it sounds like. Okay, yeah, you could probably hear that. Um, you couldn't really hear the vocals. Vocal remove, I don't really use right here because it just makes it all sound robotic like. I don't really like that. So, if you're trying to remove vocals to so like karaoke and just play around with the sliders. So, let's listen to the regular song and then with the center channel extractor. Let's listen to it with the whatever you call it, the without the effect first. Listen now. Turn the lights and down low. It's time to let yourself go. Now I'm gonna add it. Okay, you can pretty much see the difference. And that was really the tutorial for today. And you probably couldn't see the bottom of my screen just because I want to record in HD and it looks a lot better when I do it this way. So thanks for listening and have a good day. Okay, um, you guys probably heard there was lots of skipping in the uh, audio and it was fast forwarding and slowing down. I don't know, there's something wrong with my mic.
and the conflict between my recording program and the mic. So just disregard that. I don't know how to fix it. Thank you.